that right there, believe it or not, guys, is a delicacy. Is basically all of the skeletons, the guts, the innards. As you can see here, we had a good just throwing them out. Almost as if we're filleting fish now. So guys, here's our bait. So uh, these are probably 11, 12 inch bait. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's in the pot, bro. I'm gonna cast it out. Hey folks, David Fine here from Watch Your Lip. I wanted to give you a quick episode, maybe a little bit of a how-to. Uh, the seagull sounds like he wants to subscribe, but but if you do like the video, don't forget to subscribe yeah, and give us a thumbs up. But here's what we're here to talk about today. I'm in the Florida Keys. We went snapper fishing. As you can see here, we had a pretty good evening uh, right from the docks. We caught a bunch of mangrove snapper, all legal. But what we're gonna do tonight, tonight we're gonna go tarpon and shark fishing. And what we wanted to show you guys is what's a good way to be as resourceful as possible with your remains of your mangrove snapper or reef fishing, uh, and then use some of those remains to catch big fish. Let's check this out and catch some big fish, shall we? Wow. So mangrove snapper, as you can see here, guys, is absolutely a delicacy. These little fillets here, even though uh, these are probably 11, 12 inch mangroves, uh, there's, there's, they're kind of thin meat, but when you catch 10 of them or so, see, these seagulls are like, let's see. To see if they actually want to talk. You guys want to talk? No? No. So no, they don't want to talk. Okay. <laughs> so these little fillets will make some good fish sandwiches, guys. We all know uh, who, who fish and we like to eat fish. That mangrove snapper is literally some of the best eating fish that you can have. We've got a good pile of fillets right here. That's uh, 12 fish that we caught, uh, that my family caught yesterday. So, but tonight guys, we're gonna go tarpon fishing. And even though we're gonna consume these, what we're doing is we're gonna save some of the remains of the fish that we uh, that we got, and we're gonna use them for bait. So here's what we're gonna do. This bag right here is basically all of the skeletons, the guts, the innards. And what we're gonna do is tonight, when the sun goes down, the tide goes right, uh, we're going to start one by one chucking those fillets out off the dock here because whenever you start doing that, the tarpon come running, running in. So we're gonna chum them up and one by one over the probably 20 minutes or so, I have a feeling that there's gonna be tarpon like crazy right at the docks, literally right here. So uh, then what we're gonna do is we're saving the heads of the mangrove snapper to use for bait. So that right there, believe it or not guys, is a delicacy and uh, that's, there's actually a lot of good meat in there and a lot of people would say, Dave, why are you throwing that in? Uh, let's eat that. So, uh, but guess what guys, I wanna catch a tarpon. In fact, tonight we're gonna go tarpon fishing. And if you check out our videos, you'll see uh, how we do tonight. We're gonna go tarpon fishing right here. We're in Isla Mirada, Florida. Uh, there's tarpon like literally all over the place. So uh, guys, uh, super, super good idea to not waste anything. Uh, we don't spend a whole lot of money on bait. Uh, we, we go and catch our own bait. In fact, how we um, caught all these mangrove snapper, we didn't spend one dollar on fishing supplies or, or bait. Um, sorry, bait tackle shops. Got bait, live bait guys, I'm sorry about that. But what we did was we went to the beach a couple days ago. We cast netted a bunch of pilchards. Um, I got some ladyfish. We, we cut those up and we're using those and literally didn't spend one dollar on bait. We just need to know how to throw a little cast net on the beach during the summertime. Uh, came over here, last night we started chumming with some of the pilchards. We would cut up, I'd cut up like 40 or 50 pilchards into little pieces and just kinda just throw little handfuls of uh, chunks of pilchards out here on, in the flats and the mangrove snapper just come alive. And so we were, we were killing them all night long. We got a probably, we probably caught 40 or 50 snapper. Uh, we got one tarpon last night a lemon shark, I think we, we jumped off another tarp or two, and we had a couple more uh, lemon sharks hit as well, and lost those, but uh, great, that's actually a great episode coming here uh, shortly. But guys, I uh, just wanted to see, show you that you can catch fish, don't need a boat, 
You don't need a lot of money and you can catch a lot of good fish. Mangrove snapper right from the dock, right here in the Florida Keys and right on the flats here. So there's nothing special in terms of reef or structure or anything like that. They're right on the flats here. You know, very common, 10, 11, 12, sometimes 13, 14 inches. Uh, and those are good eating fish. So uh, you can do that. And of course, we gotta always have our snook and tarpon. So guys, that's about all the time we have for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. We love South Florida, guys. It's just a beautiful place. Enjoying ourselves down here in South Florida, enjoying our summer, the kids are catching fish. Um, if you like the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, like it, and subscribe to our channel because we are gonna teach you how to catch big fish, yeah, particularly boy. from the beach up in Palm Beach and Broward County, because that's where, that's kind of our wheelhouse. But guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications because we want you to join our family. So until next time, guys, watch your lip. Snappers, they didn't watch their lip. Ciao. Lorenzo was hooked, hooked his tarpon. Go, 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 got him. So he, dude, he is your first. Your first. He's 12. 12. Come join the party. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's in the pot, bro. Do it, man. Yeah. Wow! <laughs>